Hi, I'm Saverio from 100 Plugins. I decided to shut this video uh, to show you how our Balance Cube plugin works inside because the algorithm is very simple but very interesting. And since it gives you very good results with a, a little bit of a trickery, I want to explain how this trickery came to my mind and how it actually works so you can understand how to use the plugin and uh, uh, what does inside. So I've prepared a session with our total EQ that is going to simulate what the algorithm inside Balance EQ does. So here we are. I have already placed all of the needed bands, uh, the 200, 400, 800, 1 kHz and 6, uh, 3 kHz and 2, and 6 kHz and 4 on the, on the spectrum. So they are already uh, ready to work and at the same time I've already normalized the, the input signal which is a drum snare uh, track and uh, to negative 24 at the UFS um, so we're ready to approach it because uh, internally Balance EQ uh, normalizes to negative 24 for learning because the reference level for each of the bands are taken with the signal normalized to negative 24 which by the way it's a noise with a, um, a slope of negative uh, 4.5 uh, dBs per octave, uh, which is very similar to the slope that many, many, many songs, the most of the, uh, the production songs today have. So the first thing the algorithm does is to look at the peak spectrum and find where the peak lies. In this case, it's here at 500 Hertz. So since it's 500 Hertz, we're gonna start with the, the 400 uh, hertz band, which is the closest to this point. Also, we're gonna notice the peak, which is uh, a negative 22.9 uh, dBs, and we're gonna add uh, um, negative uh, uh, 15 dBs, so it comes uh, um, negative uh, uh, 37, and we're gonna find in this line starting from here, where negative 37 is, to put our eye pass filter. So it's negative 37, we said it's here. So we put an eye pass filter here. Let's choose the 12 dBs octave. And we mute it for now, because we are gonna use it later, but now we have where to put it. So first start with the 400 Hertz band, Put it in listen mode and let the track play so it, we can see uh, the UFS switch in this band should be negative 32. So let's press analyze and let the track play. In the meanwhile, I put my headphones so I can hear. So we are almost there. We are at negative 31, so we just need to put negative 09 in our gain. And we unlisten that. So we can move on to the next band on the right. We're gonna approach the, the, this band here at 100 Hertz as the last one because we started from here because of this peak. So we always start from the band where the frequency peak is. So. This one here should be negative 33. Analyze, listen. So, we should put negative 1.a in the game box. And listen, move on to the next one. This should be negative 33 too. So we had definitely too much signal, so we put negative 2.7 here. 
and unlisten that, move on to the next listen. This should be negative 34. So when we recorded this snare, it was too bright, definitely. So negative 2.9 goes here. And the high shelf as the last one should be negative 36. So we should put negative one dot three in here. And now we do the last one, which is our low shelf, which should be at negative 27. You see, we have a very high gain um, as a result here because there is not much content in this area in this sound uh, but we are gonna use it anyway uh, this gain uh, because uh, we are gonna recover some of the low end which is missing and the rumble that may come up due to this recovery is gonna be cut off by the high pass so we really don't care about this so we are we need to put 11.9 dbs in here remove the solo and enable the high pass we found earlier. So this is our EQ curve. Uh, first, I let you hear when uh, the EQ is disabled. And then I enable it so you can judge for yourself if it's better or not. Well, in my opinion, it's definitely smoother and better. So, this is how our Balance EQ works internally. Now you know it, uh, you can use it um, more consciously. So, uh, just drop it on your tracks, analyze, and let it do its magic, which is this algorithm I explained you, and it will improve your single tracks and your buses and your master bus as well with a just one click if you have a question suggestion or whatever comes to your mind just drop us a comment here in the box below or write an email whatever you prefer thank you very much for watching this video